well people i'm here in the rs today this hasn't been run for a couple of months now uh, hibernating over winter but because today is such a nice day i've decided to give it a spin um it's got twin weber 40s on it which i'm eventually going to remove and put it back to standard uh, it's got a new battery on it, but I think the battery's uh, defective because it doesn't seem to last very long. You'll, you'll see in a moment. It is fully charged though. Uh, I've got a, a noisy clock that keeps thudding. Uh, there's no choke on it because of the because it, it's an auto choke. That blanking plug there. Uh, I suppose is where people used to do short conversions so I will give it a spin uh, I'll just get it going first and get the engine turning which will pump fuel up to the carbs because it's a mechanical fuel pump and then I'll give it a few squirts on the old gas pedal here goes Nothing as yet. It's a pre-engaged starter, so I have to turn the key off and on again. But that does have have the advantage of the starter motor keeps turning the engine until it does catch and fire. Um, not like inertia starters, where they can sometimes uh, throw themselves out and mesh with the flywheel. Uh, before the engines got got running. Come on forward. I think it's trying there. Uh, have some oil pressure at least. Oh dear. Ah oh dear, I think that battery is uh, kaput annoyingly again. That's more battery trouble. Just give it a few moments to try and uh, recover it. So yeah, nice RS2000. Um, I know it's pretty dark in here so you can't see much. But it is a genuine RS. And that is uh, genuine mileage there, 68,000. A bit of a little project for me. Okay, come on forward. Good. Rev counter sprang to life. Just got to keep it running now. As I said, there is no choke. It's all done automatically on the carburetors. Uh, so until it warms up a bit, I just like to to uh, tickle the throttle to keep the revs high. Don't want it cutting out on me. It's the old two litre Pinto and I was told this uh, engine came from a racing car because the original one blew up. Um, But yeah, that's it. I'll probably be doing some more videos on the old RS. Uh, that charge light should go out as well. It, it seems to be, it seems to go out at around 2,500, like so. So yeah, that's out. But all the functions work. I've got I've got lights on this side. Well, I've got headlamp flasher here. That's the horn, which is quite pathetic. Uh, I need to replace that. Headlamps, indicators. So yeah, more to come soon.